Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S20, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So, as you can see, the phone in front of me is already locked. And uh, yeah, so let's get straight to it. Number one, you will need to connect to Wi Fi and have an access to it uh, because we will need to download a couple things. So, connect to Wi Fi, which as you can. Well, I guess I'm not connected anymore. Uh, let me quickly do that. Let's connect. Hopefully, I wrote it correctly. Okay, there we go. So you can see that I'm now connected. So once you are, you want to go back to the first page right here. And we're going to start taking screenshots. Uh, so hold, or not hold, but press power key and volume down, both keys at the same time. And you will get a message that it needs uh, storage, look, uh, storage permission, so deny it. And do it once more. Deny and don't ask again. Once more, take a screenshot. And we can now go into the settings. So tap on the settings. From here, we're gonna scroll down to permissions, tap on the search button, and we're gonna go into Chrome. So Chrome, there we go. And from here, once you tap on the Chrome, you can see that there's a button for opening it. Tap on it, and it opens up Chrome. Accept and continue. No thanks, we don't want to log in at the moment. And from here, we want to navigate into a hard reset.info website. So let's do that right now. There we go. So hard reset.info. And once you're on the website, you want to tap on the three bars right here and go into the download category. Then tap on the search field and you want to search for Android. 7.1.2 From here scroll a little down where you will see download button then scroll down again and tap on it once more tap on OK and we will need to actually grant access after it's done installing so we can install it so there we go. So once it's finished, tap on open and go into the settings. Uh, allow from this source so we can install it. Go back and tap on install. Once it's done, you want to tap on well, done and then go back. So we can go back to searching in the download category and remove that and now search for settings. Like so, and again, tap on the download, scroll down, and download once more. OK. And once it's finished, open, install, and this time you want to actually open it. So tap on open, OK, and we're now in the settings. So once you have settings open, you want to scroll down till you find apps right here. Tap on three dots and show system apps. And what we're looking for is the Google one. So scroll down to G where I am right now and you will find the Google Play services and Google Play store. So let's tap on the services first. And right here have the disable button. So tap on it, disable app, go back, tap on Google Play store, also disable, disable app and go back. And now go back once more to the main settings page as we are right now. And here we will go into account like or accounts and backup and tap on settings, add account. And you'll have the Google option right here. So choose that, continue and disregard this. Um, the, app will be key, the app will keep crashing right now, but it already did what it needs to do. It has allowed us to access the Google itself, as in for the login. So just close up, and every time it will pop up in the future, you want to close it uh, and disregard it. It will, the process of it is basically by now done, and it will keep crashing till we do a reset of the device later on. So let's just tap on OK. Tap on a search right here, and 
log in with an existing Google account. If you don't have one, you can always create one and then use it. Now, I already have it, so I'm gonna use mine. And I'm gonna put in the password for it, so give me a moment. And here we go. So you can see that we're now logged in. Tap on I agree. And you can see that it's added. So now let's go back and we will need to re-enable the apps that we have disabled. So let's go back to the apps. Again, show system apps and then scroll down to Google. And there we go. Now the two disabled ones. So again, tap on it. And now we want to turn on. Go back, tap on the other one that is disabled, turn on, go back. And at this moment, we're basically done, at least on this part. So hold the power key, turn off, and select restart. And once more, and wait for the device to boot back up. And you can see that the device is back on, so let's go to the setup process. Now, you want to skip most of it as much as you can. Uh, what we set up right now won't really matter because we're gonna perform another reset of the device in a moment. So I just tap on next. And you can see, account added and it provides the account that I have added right before the restart of the device uh, and we can basically progress that's usually where the previous screen would be blocking us from uh, continuing with the setup process but as you can see it now thinks that we have added a new account and it allows us to progress so just don't copy and next and as you can see the app crashed again disregarded we will see that message a couple more times um, more and more and accept skip skip anyway turn off and let's go back and okay Close up once you see it and do it once more. Skip, skip, and finish. Okay, so once you have access to home screen, again, close this. Uh, disregard the uh, apps right here. Well, the, as you can see, the flipping over there. Over there. It's basically the app just constantly crashing um, because it's not supported by this version of Android, but we'll soon get rid of it by going into the settings. And from here, we want to go into where it's going to be this care, I believe, maybe or not. I'm just going to search for it. Um, So it's, in, I guess, an account and backup. Let's just check it. Account and backup.
Nope. Oh, there we go. Reset. So, step on that. Set settings, reset accessibility, factory data reset. So we're looking for this. I'm gonna quickly look where it exactly is. So it's in general management. Okay, so I'm gonna go so you're not getting confused. So let's find general management and do settings. Go general management, and here we have reset, factory data reset. And once you tap on it, you get a list of everything that will remove. So you can have a Google account and you also see the Google account that it will remove right on the bottom. It provides the one that we have added, but it also removes the previous account that is not provided here that was previously blocking us. If we were to do a reset of the device through recovery mode, so a different way than we're doing right now, and the device would go back to being locked. If we do it through here, it will then remove all of the accounts and the device will be fully unlocked. And it also removes apps and settings. So basically the app that is right now keep crashing, it will also be gone. Let's just tap on reset, delete all, and the process will begin. So give it a moment for it to finish. And once it has, we should be then greeted with the Android setup screen once more. And from there we can go and perform the setup of the device fully to well, basically as you would normally do to set up whatever you want. Now I'll be back once the Android setup screen is visible. So once the process is finished, as it is right now, we're gonna go through another setup. So let's start by changing the language. Um, let's go with English and tap on next, next, I agree. And number one, the first thing that probably jumps out is the fact that skip button is not grayed out now. Now, usually if the device would still be locked, you would not be able to skip. You would actually have to connect and then it will tell you that, well, the device is locked, confirm it. So let's just tap on skip and we don't want to copy data from previous device and tap on next more now like i said you can set up your device as however you like so you can connect to, to wi-fi log into your google set up par patterns passwords whatever you want and everything will work just as it's supposed to i'm just skipping most of it to save on time so let's just skip this once more and finish and boom there we go you can see that the device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.